Hi, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be exploring a feature of the ARP 2600. It's the duophonic feature of the 3620 keyboard. There is an upper voice control voltage output that's available on this keyboard in addition to the regular keyboard output. It's available on the front panel just below the regular keyboard output. So we've got CV1, which is the lowest note, and CV2, which is the highest note played at the same time. Uh, because of that, we can uh, play two notes at a time, play harmonies, uh, which is a very nice feature. Uh, in addition to that, we can use a push button a pedal to um, latch the interval so that we can uh, continue to play for instance in an octave or a fifth or a fourth um, and let's look at that in action so we're listening to just a single note if we press if we play a fifth and then press this button we've got that interval latched. If we hold the button, and of course we'd do this with our foot, but it's up here uh, so that it can be seen on the keyboard. So that's how the basic uh, duophonic keyboard works and let's look back at the main panel and see how we've got this routed. Uh, we've got this second uh, keyboard control voltage routed into the lag processor and out of there into VCO3 and we're playing um, VCO2 and VCO3 that's what you hear. <laughs> So let's talk about the portamento. Uh, there are a couple of, couple of ways that you can use this. First of all, let's put that back in unison. Um, you can turn on the portamento with that switch, latch it on. And it's controlling uh, the portamento for both CV1 and CV2. So, so if we had these inter inter interval latched, we can also play um, the keyboard, but only uh, bring in the portamento by pressing this momentary switch. So let's look at one other feature uh, of the way we've got this routed. As I said, we're going through the lag processor with that upper keyboard voice. And let's get this back into unison. And let's listen to the effect of the lag on the upper keyboard voice. So it's a nice ensemble effect, um, and if you uh, combine that with an interval, and then bring in a third oscillator an octave higher, and then the final trick here in this patch is to uh, take the LFO, route it to the pulse width modulation of VCO2, and
and that's the demo. Uh, the duophonic feature of the 3620 keyboard on the ARP 2600. Uh, it's a very nice feature and well implemented in Korg's reissue. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. Thanks.